Hey, my name is Serena Hess, and in today's video, I want to talk about how to get through a breakup. This video is meant to be a resource for you to come back to if that ever happens to you or if you're going through it right now. If you're going through a breakup right now, first I want to say I'm sorry. I know it's hard. I know you're probably experiencing all of these different emotions and you're not sure what to do. Maybe you're sad, you're angry, you want revenge. I know what it feels like. I've been in breakups. And I will say this, my hardest breakup was actually with one of the most unhealthy relationships that I had. It was an obsessive type of attraction. It was very like all consuming. He was my entire world. It was a very unhealthy relationship. And so when we broke up, I felt devastated. I felt like a piece of my heart had ripped out of my soul. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to cope. I remember everything reminded me of him, every situation reminded me of him. Stupid things like a necklace or a song on the radio would just bring me to tears. If you're in that place or if you've ever been through a breakup like that and you can relate, this video is gonna be really beneficial for you. But here's what's happening. Every single day you wake up and you see things that trigger emotions inside of you. Being in that relationship with that person has been your routine. There's a lot of signals around you that connect you to the person you just got out of a relationship with. For example, pictures of you two around your house or apartment, old notes or love letters that you kept from them, a bracelet or earrings or something that they gave you. Whatever it is, there's different triggers in your home and in your life that remind you of them. So what happens is you'll be fine and then you hit one of these triggers and it clicks something inside of you and you start bawling and crying and you're just depressed. So what you need to do is get their stuff and put it in a box where you can close the lid. So everything that they've given you, everything that reminds you of them, put that inside the box and you don't have to get rid of it you don't have to burn it you don't have to do anything crazy but just put it away and don't look at it there's different seasons after a breakup but one of the most powerful things that you can do is give yourself time to grieve and give yourself time to get through it not putting yourself through the same thing over and over and over again whether you're saying oh that's the same song that we listen to all the time so i'm going to listen to it on repeat you can't just be going through the same cycle over and over so one of the mindsets that really helped me as i was going through breakups in high school was looking at it like this what can I learn from this situation? I dated and the breakups would be hard sometimes, but when I would ask myself, okay, Serena, what did you learn in this situation? This person was your person for that season or that period of time. What did they teach you during that period? What did you learn? In the previous breakup that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I learned that a relationship that is controlled by someone else and a relationship where you're giving every single aspect of yourself to another person is not healthy. What I learned from that moment is how to have a healthier relationship. Each person that comes into your life is meant to teach you something for a season. A friend or a significant other is going to stay in our life, we hope for forever. But in reality, we have to be okay with understanding that people come and go in different seasons, and when they are in our life, there is something to learn from that moment. My second mindset advice for going through a breakup is allow yourself to feel your emotions. Allow yourself to grieve. Allow yourself to mourn. Allow yourself to remember how great the relationship was, but don't get stuck there. When you're going through a breakup, you're experiencing a lot of different emotions, sometimes in a short period of time. So you'll be smiling and laughing, thinking about the times you had, and then you'll get really depressed because you realize, oh, they're not yours anymore. But being a human, is allowing yourself to feel every emotion. While you're going through this separation right now, just allow yourself the flexibility and the grace to be a human. You will feel different emotions. You will have bad days and we all have bad days. No matter what you see on Instagram, everybody experiences pain in different ways. So allow yourself to be human. My third mindset tip while you're in a season of transition like this, taking it into a new perspective. For whatever reason, you are now in a season where you're alone. And at first that sounds really scary and overwhelming and there's a lot of unknown variables coming at you. But I challenge you to look at it this way. Now you have the opportunity to be anyone that you wanna be. You have the entire horizon to be or do or turn into whoever you wanna be. You have all of this free time to develop yourself, to learn a new skill, to learn a new hobby, to invest all of your time in what you actually are passionate about. Being in a relationship is a beautiful thing, but it's not everything. For example, me being married right now, it's awesome, but just because I'm married doesn't mean I am full as a person. You need to develop as a human and have your own interests, have your own hobbies, 
feel fulfilled in life before you can come into a relationship. Think of this as a season of building. You're by yourself and that's okay. You're building, you're building into who you are. You're building into your future. Why don't you try doing different things? Try different hobbies. You can try painting. You can take yourself out to dinner. You can really get in touch with your emotions. The options right now are literally unlimited. You could go to a conference. You could move to another state if you wanted. You can get a new job, but I'd really challenge you to look at this new season of singleness in a more positive light. Suddenly you have the opportunity to get to know yourself better, to get in touch with who you are and to invest time and energy and money into yourself. And in the future, after you've grown as a human, after you've developed, after you've learned who you are, and after you've taken some time to learn how to accept yourself and genuinely love and care for yourself, how much more attractive would that be for someone else? Confidence is a beautiful beautiful thing but it's only developed over time of developing who you are and getting in touch with where you're going in life and what do you enjoy in life and understanding what makes you feel fulfilled because you're stuck with yourself for the rest of your life. So right now you might be single, but in a few years, maybe you're in a relationship. Even if you're in a relationship with someone else, you are still stuck with yourself. Like you can't get rid of yourself. So building up a relationship with yourself is one of the most important relationships that you can have. There's no running away. There's no breaking up with yourself. You have you your entire life. The voice inside your head, the self-talk, all of those different things are going to be with you for your entire life. When you're single, this is your opportunity to really put positive thoughts into your head and to really get clear on who you are and who you want to be in life. I get it. Going through a breakup is hard, I know. But I also know that you are a powerful and strong woman, that you're a woman made for greatness, that you can achieve more. It's totally okay to be experiencing this sadness right now. It's totally okay to be having a hard time, but just looking at it like, okay, this happened and now I have the opportunity to develop a relationship with myself. I have the opportunity to change as a person. I have this opportunity to grow. Another thing about breakups that a lot of people take for granted, you have this new opportunity to create rituals. And I took an online course about creating rituals in your life. I'll link it below, but basically it's about creating different moments in your day that give you life. Maybe a ritual for you would be waking up in the morning, getting your coffee, and journaling. And that's something that's life-giving to you and makes you feel happy. Or maybe a ritual for you is going on a run and clearing your head during the day. Or maybe a ritual for you is taking the time to prepare a beautiful and nourishing meal for yourself. Whatever it is, now that you have more time with yourself, you have the opportunity to create different ritual moments with yourself. And you're doing things that actually bring you joy and make you become a better person. I would challenge you to start creating rituals into your life and into your routine. This has just been a list of different mindsets and things that have helped me in the past when I was going through breakups. I understand that each situation is different and you get different emotions for different breakups and no relationship is the same. But I think the things that we covered in this are beneficial to everyone and I think it translates into this personal development world and as we're reaching for greatness in our own lives. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want the worksheet that goes along with this video, just download it below. I'd love to provide that resource for you. It's totally totally free and I know it will really help. Again, if you've just gone through a breakup, let me say this to you from the bottom of my heart. You are not damaged goods. You were made on purpose and for a purpose. And you're just in a season of life right now where you're building and you're growing and you're becoming the very best human that you can be. So I love you, keep on pursuing your greatness, and I'll see you very soon.